So today I did something that I've never done before. I'm assisting my friend Art as tech support. I'm doing some sound and lighting stuff. Okay, we're setting up here for a kiss and yet tomorrow. And there's the system up there. I've got a rear fill speaker right here. This is the Evolve 30M. And I've got the delay set on it. So there's no echo. And to me that was pretty exciting because the last time Art and I tried to do something like this, we had this idea of putting a rear fill speaker in the back of the room so people could hear toasts and speeches better. So I used a LD Systems Maui 5 Go, ran like a 75 foot XLR cable to the back of the room, plugged it in, and when we play music or speak on the microphone, we heard this delay back there. It was really strange. Was like, why do we hear this delay? Okay, so I am not a physics professor, I'm not an audio engineer, but it turns out this has to do with the speed of sound. Let's say you're standing in the back of a 75 foot long room and you're listening to music that's at the front of the room 75 feet away. You're actually hearing the sound a fraction of a second after people on the dance floor are hearing it. Because sound does travel fast, but not so fast you can't realize it. It's only a fraction of a second but it's a little bit of a delay. Now, when you have a rear fill speaker, the sound coming out of that rear fill speaker is coming out at the exact same time, or close enough to the exact same time, as the sound coming out of the main speakers. So you don't hear a delay out of that speaker if you're right next to it, but you hear a delay out of the speakers in the front of the room that creates this reverb sound. And it's annoying. On the Evolve 30 ms what you're able to do is go into the DSP menu and there's actually a function in there that allows you to set a delay. And you do it by meters. You're supposed to be able to do it by feet. I haven't figured out how to do it yet. So this is what I did. I set the speaker where I wanted it. And then I took this tape, which I used to use to measure homes and other life when I was an appraiser slash assessor. And I measured the distance between the main speakers and my rear fill speakers. And that came out to be 59 feet. Line of sight, 59 feet. I was going over tables and everything to get this measurement. So 59 feet converted into meters is 17.9832 meters. I just rounded it up to 18 meters. So I set the delay at 18 meters and we played a track and realized zero delay. It was that easy. And it doesn't sound like a big deal until you try to do some kind of rear fill speaker and hear the delay. It's just enough to be annoying for me and I'm sure the guests. But now the rear fill speaker will be in sync with what's coming out of the front to anyone who's hearing the rear fill in the back of the room. And I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. Here's how you do it. First of all, you gotta jump into your menu here. Now down here, where it says function, you want to make sure this is in basic. It's in mixer right now, so if you scroll down, you don't see any kind of delay option. So, go into basic. Yep, I want to go into basic. And once you go into basic and you scroll down, look right below mode, you see delay. It's off right now, but if you click on the knob, you can start adjusting it. That's, uh, a tenth of a meter, a twentieth of a meter, a thirtieth, and so on. You can keep going up like this. You just set this to wherever you want it. In my case, it was 18. Let's go to 18. And you're done. That's all there is to it. So just a quick video for you today. I hope it helps somebody. I'm looking forward to doing the event tomorrow. It's been a while. This is the first thing of 2021. Not my gig, it's Art's gig, but I am doing the lighting and sound support and I'm happy to do it. It just kind of feels normal. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.